Okay, um, John Bedini and Chuck H. here. First, we're going to show you this. There's nothing secret about a black box because we've shown you what the crystals are. We just keep these sealed. We don't hydrate these. Um, they're sealed up with tape along the edges. And they just continue to pour out this current under this load right here with this oscillator. Uh, Chuck and I do not touch them. And we've made hundreds of different types, trying different mixes in proportions so that we can hold this current without any hydration. But the real key is the water. And you need it between the salts. Now, a lot of you are asking the magnesium. You can see that this bar is pretty big. This is the kind of magnesium we use. And it's a special alloy. You have to specifically ask for this alloy because you don't want any zinc and you don't want any aluminum. So you want 99.9% .9 pure. All right. So now we'll just walk over here and we'll show you this other. Okay, what Chuck has been doing. Now this is the third time we've shown you this charging this battery here with this little oscillator and the LED. If you look at the difference between the two films or videos, you will see now the current has increased all by itself. And that's all these crystal cells are parallel to charge this battery. And that's where the battery is sitting right now. So we'll be right back. We're going to show you something else. Okay, we're back here. Now, these cells that we pressed uh, to prove out IB pointlessness theory, this is where this one came down and sat without any hydration. So it's about 4 milliamp, 3 milliamps, and it just stays there and it continues to run this oscillator here and then of course the other one you can see here that it dripped out I let it drip out because it hydrates itself and it continues to sit here and run this oscillator now there's quite a bit of difference between an elm cell that grows this crystal here but as you can see there's not too much going on with the magnesium here or you'd see black everywhere around here a little bit of in a crystal cell a little bit of the change of color is not anything and you can see that's not too bad here I stuck it on a paper towel, so it's not too bad. IB Pointless is uh, salt substitute. You can see something's going on right here, that there's some foreign material in the salt substitute that's turning to a rust, rust color. Now, whether that's in the distilled water or not, I kind of doubt. But it's not doing it on the top. Now it continues to hold the dipole, but no substantial current that's usable for me and these oscillators because they're pretty big. So here's another one, smaller. I just set them in here because they seem to gather the water out of the air. And it continues to sit here and run these oscillators without anything. And it's this pretty hard crystal here because you can just break it into flakes. Now, here's something interesting. Look at the size of this coil on this oscillator. And then over here we have two more cells that we're testing. And you can see we're testing different materials to hold the crystal mix. So that's this one here on this coil. So it's a pretty big coil compared and it continues to hold this amount of current no matter what. 
which is 20 milliamps under load. Chuck's showing you the difference between the two coils. So, here's another one that's been continuously in the box. No hydration at all. In fact, Chuck takes it everywhere with him. It's just light. And uh, that's the way it runs. So don't let anybody discourage you about building these on the group or on the YouTube video. You know, so we did this because we wanted to show you that the closer you get this, the less crystal you use in between here, the more the power and the better the performance of the cell is. And the only thing that it requires is hydration, and that's it. You don't see anything eating away here at all. The copper is just as it came out of the oven, and it stayed.